Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about strategies we can use for problem solving. First, let's talk about Polia's four-step problem solving plan. So Polia, that's George Polia. He's the father of problem solving. He was a Hungarian mathematician in the, the 20th century, and he came up with this brilliant four-step problem solving plan. If you've taken science classes in the past, you might recognize some of these steps because it's very similar to the scientific method, the seven steps, but he's reduced it down to four steps. Step one, understand the problem. Step two, devise a plan. Step three, carry out the plan. And step four, look back. Each of these four steps we're gonna talk about in more detail in the upcoming slides. And keep in mind that all of them are weighted equally important. So number one is as important as number two, which is as important as number three, which is as important as number four. So number one, understand the problem. This involves, of course, actually reading the problem. So when you read the problem, you wanna look for these things. What is the unknown? What are the data? And what is the condition? We wanna make sure that, do we have enough information based on what the question's asking? What do we know? What don't we know? This is where you might wanna pull, extract information out, label things, all of that. Step two, devise a plan. So there's a bunch of different strategies that we might use for problem solving. The first one is, do I know a related problem? Have I seen something like this before? And if I have, what did I do that time? Can I also apply that here? Is there an equation or a formula that I could use? So we might look to see if maybe it's a linear equation or maybe there's a quadratic that could be applied. Um, you know, is there some equation or formula that's available to me? Maybe we need to work backwards. Maybe we wanna start with the question and use the information that's given to help us figure out how we can properly answer the question. Another strategy, create an easier problem. This works sometimes, right? All of these only work sometimes. There's not always gonna be an equation. We can't always work backwards, but create an easier problem. So if something's really complex, we might try to, to simplify it down and see if we see notice something there that we can then apply. So it kind of relates back to, do I know a related problem? So you create this easier problem, see if the strategy works for the problem at hand. Sometimes it's helpful to make a table or a chart or a graph. Sometimes it's helpful to draw a picture. Anytime something says a triangle, blah, 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 draw a picture of a triangle, a rectangle, yada, yada, draw a rectangle. Look for a pattern. So as we've seen previously with inductive and deductive reasoning, we might look for a pattern to see if that could help us uh, solve the question. Maybe we can estimate and that will be good enough. Um, sometimes that's, that will be more helpful or as helpful as actually answering the, the straight up question. And one of the most common ones is guess and check. And sometimes people feel like that's not really doing math, but it is. You can absolutely use guess and check to help you answer questions, especially problem solving questions. Okay, step three, carry out the plan. So first you've devised the plan, now let's carry out the plan. Check each step along the way, make sure that you're using the needed information, make sure you have all the information that you need. You want to find a solution if one exists. You might decide that, wait, no, we can't actually answer this question with the information we're given, in which case you've done all you could and that's, that, that's all we can do. And as important as the other three steps is look back. And this is the one that most commonly gets skipped because you're like, look, I got six, that's cool. Next, make sure you look back to, to make sure does the answer make sense? Is there a better way that I could have solved this problem? While it won't help you with this particular problem, it might be able to help you with a future problem. Did I use all the data? So you wanna make sure something didn't get left out and you wanna make sure that you're using all the relevant data. Sometimes there's extra information thrown in there just to throw you off. Watch out for that. So did I use all of the necessary data would maybe make more sense. These are the four steps to Polia's four-step problem-solving approach. 